Hello there. So there are two new relic sets in Honkai Star L 2.0. We have the Pioneer Diver of Dead Waters and we have Watchmaker Master of Dream Machination. In this video, we're just going to be reviewing these sets. We're going to be explaining how they work, on which scenarios they can work in, on which characters you can use them on. And then finally, are they worth farming or not? So yeah, let's begin. All right, so first of all, starting off with the Pioneer Diver of Dead Waters. The two piece is just going to increase the damage dealt to enemies with a debuff by 12%. So if an enemy has a debuff and you attack them, um, your damage is going to be increased by 12% on that enemy. You just need a debuff on that enemy to activate the two piece. And then the four piece um, is going to increase your crit rate by 4%, just like a flat 4% increase when you equip this set. And then when you attack enemies with two or four debuffs, it's going to increase your crit damage by 8 or 12%. So if the enemy has has two debuffs your crit damage is going to be increased by eight percent if it has four or more it's going to be increased by 12 percent and then when you inflict a debuff on an enemy that means the character equipping this set um inflicts a debuff on an enemy this crit rate and crit damage bonuses are going to be doubled for one turn so you're going to have a total of like eight percent crit rate and then 24 percent crit damage we have four debuffs with the um damage bonus from the two piece which is 12 percent that's like the total maximum this set can give you so as you guys can see here this set is just going to buff your character um, just damage bonus and then crit rate and crit damage so pretty much any character who deals damage is going to appreciate that but there's a very important thing is that you need debuffs on your team so you're going to have to play at least some um, debuff on your team to apply like two debuffs to the enemies to gain like some crit damage and crit rate and damage bonus and in like most ideal scenarios you'd want to play this set on characters who can debuff themselves so that you can double the bonus and stuff like that and then if you want to add a debuffer to have the four debuffs for extra crit damage it's going to be even better so yeah, just to summarize and repeat, to use this set, you're going to need a character who can apply debuffs by themselves, at least one. And that character is need to be played usually with characters who can apply debuffs too, so that you can take full advantage out of this set. So now moving on to characters who can use this set, right off the bat, the most obvious option is going to be Dr. Ratio. Um, he's going to be able to apply one debuff by himself from his skills, so he can do the double thing. And then he's going to be played with debuffers usually. You're going to have to have like four debuffs at least with him. So you're going to be able to to take full advantage out of this set it's just gonna be giving you damage bonus um and then just crit rate and crit damage on him which is cool now the thing is i'm not really sure how good it is compared to like the two-piece imaginary and like the ash blazon or something like that i'm pretty sure it wouldn't really be like a huge difference it's probably gonna be better though i would think this set is gonna be his best in slot but it definitely wouldn't really be you know like a huge difference um it is gonna be able to buff his whole like kit instead of just like follow-up attacks and stuff like that and there's just like stronger buffs in general but I don't think it's going to make like a huge um, game changing difference. So if you're already farmed for him and you have like a good two piece um, imaginary and then two piece follow up attacks, then it's definitely not really worth farming this set again. But if you didn't farm for him, then obviously this set is going to be like the go to option as best in slot. I don't know why they're releasing it in 2.0 that has already been released. But hey, if you still haven't built him yet, then this set is going to be your go to option for Dr. Ratio probably. Now, other than that, though, for characters who can use this set, um, again, any character who can apply a debuff or are usually played with like a lot of other debuffers can use this set and obviously if they can take advantage of the crit rate and crit damage so i don't know i can think of like kafka for example can probably use this set i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be like the best in slot option but it's definitely gonna be usable um topaz for example can apply one debuff so if you play her with, like another debuffer you can probably take full advantage out of this set again not sure how it's gonna compare to like your casual sets but hey it's definitely gonna work too um maybe like hook for example it can work on her too um don hung for example the four star can probably use it um you can also use it on like healthy characters if you want to build them as like damage dealers like welt for example if you want to build them as a dps this set is definitely going to be pretty good same thing with like silver wolf for example if you want to build a red crit there are a lot of options um with a lot of them unless they're like nihility you'd want to definitely make sure you use another debuffer on your team to make sure you're having like the full set activated like with don hung for example or hook or whatever but it is going to be usable in a lot of characters as i said like topaz kafka um hook don hung maybe even himiko she can apply like the burning thing a lot of characters can use this set on paper um i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be like the best set for most of them but it's definitely gonna be usable on quite a bit of characters um is it worth farming in my opinion i would say no unless you're farming it specifically for dr ratio and you haven't built him yet in that case i'll say go for it other than that it's definitely a skip in my opinion don't waste your trailblaze power
But now moving on to the second set, we have Watchmaker Master of Dream Machinations. Um, this is the second set that's going to be released. Before we continue with that though, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I need to get to that 10k. Do you subscribe? Thank you. But yeah, for this set, um, the two pieces are just going to increase your break effects by 16%, just straight up. And then the four pieces that when the wearer uses their ultimate on an ally, um, the break effects of all the allies is going to be increased by 30% for two turns. And it cannot be stacked, obviously. So you're going to have to like use your elemental burst on an ally to buff them or whatever when you do that all of your party members break effects is going to be increased by 30 percent including the wearer who used their ultimate on the ally so all allies um break effects is going to be increased including the wearer that means for the wearer this set is going to be giving you 46 percent break effects increase and for the rest of your party members it's going to be a 30 percent break effects increase that's it for this set now for which teams you'd want to use this set on or which characters it's pretty self-explanatory it's just like teams built around break effects for the characters you want to use this set on obviously characters who can use their ultimate on other characters and characters who can benefit from the break effect to be honest not really you might use this set as just like a solution for buffing even if like the wearer himself doesn't benefit from it you can just use it to buff the break effects but it's definitely not really recommended so yeah we're just going to be talking about like your ideal scenarios so for characters you can use this set obviously you have rame she needs a lot of break effects so this set is going to help you out a lot and then it's also going to help out your team break which is also pretty good for her and her ultimate is going to be buffing your allies so you can take full advantage out of this set it's just going to be like a perfect set for her, pretty much like custom made um other than that though it's going to be less usable on other characters or at least it's going to have like competition but other characters i can think of who can use this set are going to be like silver wolf obviously so if you want to build her with like break effects this set is going to be pretty good too problem with that though is that she's not going to be able to use her ult on like the allies she's the ult is gonna be used on enemies like defense shred and deal quantum damage and stuff like that so you're gonna have to use this set on another character with silver wolf on the team to take full advantage out of this set obviously or you can use maybe like the two piece with another two piece that's another story but silver wolf even though she would benefit from this set with like a break build she cannot really use this set unfortunately at least by herself and then finally the last character i can think of is maybe asta um she's gonna be able to use her ultimate on your allies so you know this set is gonna work and she can be used as like a breaker sometimes for like fire with her elemental skill so maybe that's gonna help i guess but um, it's it's definitely not gonna be like your go-to option for asta so yeah the only like proper user for this set at this point i'd say is ron may that's the only user who i would say like okay go farm this set for if you haven't farmed yet even for Ron may it's not even really like super necessary you can get enough break effects already and it's gonna be like very comparable but if you haven't farmed for her it's the same thing with like dr ratio then you should farm for this set but if you did already it's definitely not worth like refarming again so final conclusion for like this whole domain should you farm or should you not um i would say it just depends on have you built ron may and dr ratio yet or not if you haven't built one of them yet and you're planning to build them in that case yeah just go farm the domain i wouldn't even really say think about the other set or like the trailblaze efficiency and stuff like that you can just farm them and even if you don't need the second set you can just keep it also i'm pretty sure we're going to see more characters who are going to be able to use both of these sets in the future because at this point there's like too limited there's no way those are going to be like the only characters who can use them properly so yeah it's always going to be an investment um but for i'm talking for like the present at this time if you're not planning to build ron may or dr ratio then i would say this domain is going to be a skip if you are then yeah i would say just go for it and farm it that's pretty much it but yeah that was the video guys again please don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video peace